Rainforests are hot, wet, humid and dark because of the shade they provide. In this countdown we're looking at which animals have the best features to help them survive in rainforests. Harpy eagles live in the upper canopy layer and build nests so big they could fit a human inside. Their wingspan is between 5 to 7 feet wide, which is relatively small but broad, increasing their manoeuvrability within the forest. They also have the largest talons of any living eagle, at between 8 and 12 centimetres long. With these and their sharp beak, they can easily kill their prey, 79% of which is sloths, but they also eat monkeys, mammals, birds and snakes. They are difficult to see within the forest because of clever counter shading. They have slate black feathers on the upper side, so if seen from above they look like the forest, and a white on the underside, so if seen from below they look like the sky. Very well adapted. In position 9 is the anaconda, the world's heaviest snake. Female anacondas can weigh over 200 pounds or 15 stone and can grow to an average 25 feet long. They live in water and can stay submerged for 10 minutes on a single breath. This huge snake is an ambush predator. It'll wait patiently with just its head poking out of a river surface. Then it catches its prey in its jaws and winds its muscular body around it in order to suffocate or crush it. When eating larger prey, which takes time to swallow, the anaconda pushes its windpipe up and out of its throat to enable it to breathe a bit like a snorkel. It swallows prey whole and has four parallel lines of backwards pointing teeth on its upper jaw, as well as two rows on its lower jaw. Its food includes birds, eggs, fish, mammals, deer, capybaras and even caimans. The sloth has a very slow metabolism and spends most of its time hanging upside down. They move at an average speed of 4 meters per minute and have long curved claws from their hands and feet for hanging and grasping. They spend so much time upside down, their fur grows the opposite way. If put the right way up, their fur stands on end. They appear green, which is perfect camouflage due to symbiotic green algae living in the fur, which also provides the sloth nutrients. Their fur is also habitat for mosquitoes, sandflies, bugs, lice, ticks, moths and mites, so don't go stroking them. They have poor hearing and eyesight, so rely on smell and touch to find their favourite food. Three-toed sloths are plantain eaters, meanwhile two-toed sloths eat insects, lizards and carrion as well. In seventh position is the poison dart frog. It's evolved bright colours to warn predators it's poisonous. Poisons come from the frog's diet of ants, mites and termites. Further adaptations include small sucker-like discs on the end of its toes, creating a slight suction as the frogs climb, making their grip mildly adhesive. It's fascinating that many species of dart frog are very dedicated parents. They carry their newly hatched tadpoles up into the rainforest canopy, the tadpoles sticking to mucus on their parents' backs. Once in the upper reaches of the rainforest trees, the parents deposit their young in pools of water that accumulate in rainforest plants. Jaguars are big cats, up to 1 meter 85 centimeters long. They are muscular and weigh up to 96 kilograms or about 15 stone. They have pale yellow to tan colored fur which is covered by spots that transition to rosettes on their side and so they're very well camouflaged. They're good at climbing trees, are good swimmers and employ a stalk and ambush strategy when hunting. They eat capybara, anteaters, marsh deer, peccary, agouti, turtles and in this case caimans. They kill with a powerful bite and they bite directly through the skull, delivering a fatal blow to the brain.
In position 5 is the red-bellied piranha. They're found throughout South America and have adapted to become efficient killers. With an amazingly acute sense of smell and razor-sharp triangular teeth, they can swim up to 25 miles per hour and live for 10 to 20 years. Piranha, however, are primarily scavengers. They usually eat insects, worms, crustaceans and fish. Feeding frenzies where schools of piranha converge on one prey are rare. These normally occur due to starvation or provocation and most likely evolved as a defence behaviour to protect piranhas from dolphins, caimans and birds. Piranha are also camouflaged with red patches on a silver body. At this stage of the countdown we're coming towards some very weird and wonderful adaptations and what better than a lizard that can fly, or more accurately, glide. Found in trees of the rainforests of Southeast Asia, the Draco lizard has folds of skin that rest flat against the body when not in use, but act as wings when unfurled, allowing the Draco to catch the wind and glide. Unfortunately, certain snakes can fly or glide too. Each sortie can carry them up to 30 feet, and the lizards use their long slender tails to steer themselves. Um, they do this to escape danger, attract mates, and to find their meals, which consist of ants and termites. Mimicry is where creatures try to look like something else in order to not be eaten. And in this case, the giant Malaysian leaf insect found in Southeast Asia and Australia looks just like a walking leaf. They have the perfect camouflage to deter predators, even having bite marks in certain places on their bodies. As they walk, they rock back and forth to mimic a real leaf being blown by the wind. There are many caterpillars that use camouflage and mimicry to stop predators from eating them. The caterpillar of the citrus swallowtail butterfly looks just like a bird dropping, for example. However, today we're examining the Amazon's monkey slug caterpillar. It is solitary, lives on the underside of leaves and imitates a tarantula. It has nine pairs of curly projections extending from its flattened body, each densely covered in hairs. These arms can fall off without harming the caterpillar, aiding it in defence. Its feet also have suction cups helping it climb. Truly remarkable. And finally, in first place, has to be the chameleon. It has a whole raft of adaptations for the rainforest. Firstly, they have horizontal feet with gripping toes that can wrap completely around branches and twigs. Secondly, they can hang by their coil-like tails. Their eyes can move in two different directions at once, giving a panoramic view of their surroundings. They can also change colour to warm up and cool down, to communicate with other chameleons and to help them camouflage themselves. They rock backwards and forwards as they move to imitate branch movement in the wind. And, if that were not enough, they have long, sticky tongues for catching insects that explode out of their mouths and can extend between one and two times their body lengths. Truly amazing adaptations. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please feel free to like and subscribe.